See if I can get this in here without it going everywhere. Never mind. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cook With End. And it's also a subscriber recommended video. Titty balls, titty balls. <laughs> Now this one's actually been suggested several times by several different people and I'm not sure who was the first one to actually suggest this to us but I've been told to try and make a Watergate salad and you might be thinking to yourself what is a Watergate salad? Well this is it, this very bright green bowl of I find it hard to say salad because in my eyes this is not a salad at all. We will learn in this video that, I'm pretty sure this recipe comes from America, but we will learn in this video that Americans have a very different definition of what a salad is to I think the rest of the world. I think America can call anything a salad. They can literally have like a burger and they'd be like, that's a salad. It feels that way because some of the salads that come out of America are just so weird and unusual. As someone living in the UK, I just don't fully understand it or get it. For example, one of the ingredients in this salad is marshmallows. Who puts marshmallows in a salad? For me, a salad is a savory, you know, like a chicken Caesar salad or like a little side salad on a main dish. And it's got like cucumbers and peppers and tomatoes and stuff. Other than that, you can have like a fruit salad, which is literally just a mixture of fruit. And then I think that's it. I don't think we have a dessert based salad because we just call that like pudding or something or just dessert. But I feel like America, they're just they're playing fast and loose with the definition of salad. But we'll try it out and see if it's any good. And I know for a fact it's not going to be a healthy salad recipe. Usually we think of salad as being healthy. This is not healthy at all. It's a block of sugar. <laughs> also, I did have a brief look at the instructions and how to make it. And this looks like a piss easy recipe to make if you are actually interested in making this. Yeah, so it says on this, obviously I'm starting off with a pudding mix. But this sweet salad starts with a package of instant pistachio pudding mix which I've got here. So they must have something over in America called a sweet salad. That must be like a dessert salad. We don't, we, we do not do that in the UK at all. There is no such thing as like a dessert based salad unless it's a fruit salad. Americans are gonna have to clear that up with us. Do you have like dessert salads? Because that's really, it's just really unusual. For me, a salad, and when you think of salad, it screams healthy. Like, I'm, I'm gonna go for a salad, I'm gonna be healthy. It's not, I'm gonna go for a salad, I'm gonna eat some chocolate. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so weird. It's such a strange concept. Anyway, what's the first step? So I need my pudding mix, which I bought the proper jello one because I think you use, use jello a lot. I need one 3.4 ounce package, which I think this might be. Yes, it is perfect. So we're gonna get a big bowl and this is gonna just go straight in. It's just gonna go in as a powder, I assume. Yep, just instant pudding mix, just straight in there. I'm just looking at the ingredients of this. There's a lot of just like yellow, like artificial flavor, yellow five, yellow six, blue one. It's just, it's literally, it's just all shite in this. It is the most unhealthy crap inside of this ever. But it doesn't have gluten in, that's what I was looking for, so that's good. Right, it wants one eight ounce can of crushed pineapple with juice. What's eight ounces in grams? 226.7 grams. This is 425 grams, but the drained weight is 260 grams. I might just stick the entire thing. In. Mine's also pineapple chunks. I don't know, I, I, I couldn't find crushed pineapple. We either have chunks or we have slices. We don't have crushed. So I'm just gonna stick this in how it is and I think it'll be fine. I honestly don't think it really matters with this recipe. <laughs> That's very green. Also, I love pineapple. So this is already very exciting. I absolutely adore pineapple. I don't actually think this food that I'm gonna be eating is actually gonna taste bad. It's just very unusual. So I've got my pineapple in there. It wants one cup of mini marshmallows because that is a very important main ingredient for salad. And I do like marshmallows. Delicious, so this is perfectly fine. Half a cup of chopped walnuts. And I'm being lazy and I just bought them already cut because I couldn't be asked. And to be fair, I'm not a lover of walnuts. I like nuts. 
wink. But walnuts aren't my favorite, but that's fine. And now this is the thing that trips me up. It wants four ounces of frozen whipped topping thawed. And I don't understand what any of those things mean. I don't know what frozen whipped topping is. And I don't understand why you would need to freeze it then thaw it. Why can't you just have it already thawed out? I'm gonna mix this first before I move on to that thingy topping bit. It is so green. It is so unbelievably green. <laughs> to be fair, it doesn't smell too bad though. It smells quite nice. Right, that's all combined. It's looking all right, to be fair. And then I'm gonna try and sort this topping thing out. So the only thing I can think of is this stuff, which is called Dream Topping. And it's basically like a whipped kind of cream, but not really a cream. I think this is the closest thing to kind of like a cool whip, dessert whip kind of thing. I can think of. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I can't get my head around what a frozen whipped topping thought is. A frozen whipped topping of what? Feels like there should be another word, like a whipped topping of cream, or like a whipped topping of something else. Not just a whipped topping. I don't know what a whipped topping is. I'm confused and you have to help me! And I don't think I've ever actually made this before. What is it? What is dream topping? I what? Just add milk. I'm assuming it's the same as like your cool whip thing. Yeah, like a dessert whip. <laughs> Like kind of, I don't, I don't know. I don't know whether to call it cream. Is it a whipped cream or not? I don't know. I get very stressed out about these things because I like things to be explained to us so I can understand them. Calling something dream topping doesn't make any sense to us because you don't tell us what it actually is. It just says like a dessert topping of what? But anyway, I'm just gonna add some milk into this bowl. It did want like proper normal milk, but I only drink oat milk, so it's gonna have to have oat milk. Dirty slut. And then I'm just adding this to the top of it. Oh, it smells nice. It smells very sweet. Oh, I think this will be delicious. Let's whisk this up, see what it's gonna look like. I think it needs to be a little bit thicker than that, so I'm gonna add a little bit more of this dream top and stuff into it. I think it's supposed to be very light and fluffy. Okay, that looks good to me. I'm just gonna have a little try of this, see what it's like. Dirty slut. That's nice. It, it almost tastes like vanilla, whipped custard almost. It kind of tastes a little bit like that, I think. But anyway, once some of this folded into here. Oh good, now I see bubbles. And obviously I'm not freezing it and then thawing it out again because I don't see the point. I think I might have added a bit too much, but that's fine. And I think that's basically it. So now I'm gonna chill this for one to two hours and I'm also gonna chill my cream or whatever this is called, because this is going to be like a little bit of a garnish. And after a couple of hours, I can apparently eat it, and it'll be a delicious marshmallowy dessert thing. And I think I've made it right as well, so that's good. And to be fair, there is pineapple in there, so technically, it's kind of a little bit healthy. Okay, I'm finally back with my main component of this Watergate salad. And it is very firm. It is incredibly firm. And it looks like it's gonna be a little bit gelatinous. So that's delicious. But I thought I would try and fancy this up a little bit and kind of decanter it into a glass and just make it like, I don't know, a little bit more sophisticated. If you can make this sophisticated. Oh, it's very foamy. It doesn't look too bad. It's not the consistency I thought it was going to be. I don't know, it doesn't seem as gelatiny, and it's more kind of foamy and spongy. It might be nice. See if I can get this in here without it going everywhere. Never mind. I'm gonna tidy the edge of that up because it looks a bit messy. And you eat with your eyes as well as your mouth. And then I want to top it with some of this, whatever it is, and just add a little dollop on top of here. Oh, look at this. The presentation is everything. And I also want to sprinkle a couple of marshmallows over the top. It didn't say to do this, by the way. I just thought it looked quite like fancy and nice. I think you can decorate it any way you want to decorate it. And even when I don't like walnuts, we'll chuck a couple of walnuts on as well. And there we have it, a Watergate salad. To be fair, I actually don't think that looks too bad. The only thing is it's very green, but it looks like a nice little dessert thing. It almost looks like a pot of yogurt or or kind of like a pudding. It's almost giving trifle vibes. That's what it kind of feels like, but obviously not as good as a trifle, because trifle's amazing. But yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see what it tastes like. I don't know whether I'm gonna like it or not. Right, so I wanna get all the components on here. Bit of marshmallow, bit of walnut. I'm kind of looking forward to this because I've just had lunch and I didn't have any dessert. So this might be a nice little dessert for us. Okay, cheers everyone.
dirty slut. Honestly, it's not that bad. It's surprisingly light. I thought it was gonna be incredibly sweet, like overpoweringly sweet and almost sickly, but it's, it's actually not. It's quite, I don't know, it's just very pleasant. <laughs> Weirdly enough, I think the marshmallows work really good in it. It adds a different texture. And even the walnuts, even though I'm not a massive fan of walnuts, it just, it adds to it. And the pineapple. It, ju it just, it literally, it just works. It works really well. I was wholeheartedly expecting this to be kind of really overpoweringly sweet and sickly and just really hard to kind of keep down. I thought I would only want one bite and then that would be enough, but I'm really into it. I think actually the sweetest part of this is the topping I've put on. The actual salad, because it's still not a salad in my eyes. The salad itself isn't particularly sweet. I kind of want to finish this whole thing, but I weighed myself the other day and I put on a stone in six months. The fat fuck! So I do, I'm kind of watching my weight a little bit, but I'm not watching it, but well, I'm watching it grow. But like, I can't really resist this actually. It's, it's very nice. It's just light. It's just very pleasant. Let me know if you've ever had Watergate salad before, if you've ever made it. Cause like, yeah, you're doing something right. I was proper prepared to slag this off, but I actually really enjoy it. I'm gonna stop now though, cause I think if I eat the whole thing of that, well, I'll just be a bit too full. It was really good though, well done. Well, I think that just about does it for today's episode of Cooking With Ant. <laughs> Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And thank you to all the people who suggested I make Watergate salad. Very, very weird recipe for a UK person. But it just literally, it was not bad at all. I've eaten a lot worse on this channel. This was very pleasant. It's easy to make as well, by the way. Compared to a lot of the other recipes that I end up making, this was just so simple. And I guarantee as well, you could easily swap a lot of ingredients for different things and it would still work. America's onto something. Sweet salads. Maybe we all need to start adopting sweet salads like a dessert salad. But anyway, I'll see you on Friday for a brand new video. I kind of want to go in for another bite, but I'm like really full. Yeah, I can't believe I put a stone on. In six months, I think it's because I've changed jobs. In my other job, I was quite active and stuff. And this job I'm at now, I'm not very active. I'm just like sat on my ass half the time. I'm just getting like proper like Pudney. That's what I'm feeling like. I'm feeling like a Watergate salad in human form. I'm just feeling very like pudney and stodgy. <laughs>